Hello my friends, uh, welcome all of you, almost 113,000 starseeds, lightworkers and wanderers who have connected on my channel and I welcome all of you. In this session I have channeled the Pleiadians uh, who have answered very interesting topics. Uh, firstly, about what is the truth behind uh, there was a UFO incident which is pretty famous. Uh, it is known as the Pasca Gula uh, UFO incident which occurred in 1973 wherein two uh, people who were working I believe in a fishing uh, area, uh, they were abducted by uh, extraterrestrial, supposed extraterrestrial entities and they were taken aboard a spaceship and uh, when they were returned back to earth, you know, they felt time dilation, right? So, I wanted to ask what is the truth behind this and uh, who were the extraterrestrial, the identity of the extraterrestrial beings as well as uh, what was their purpose has been revealed by the Pleiadians in this session and also uh, in the channeling session, I've asked about the truth behind uh, who created the uh, ancient pyramid site known as Gunung Padang. Uh, some scientists you know, also consider it to be you know, one of the oldest pyramid formations. So, I wanted to ask you know, who created it, uh, which is absolutely mind-blowing. And also, the Pleiadians uh, have revealed the truth behind the, uh, the Ankh symbol. Uh, or the Ansanta symbol, uh, which, you know, I think you might have seen. Uh, so, the Pleiadians, they reveal, you know, what is the truth behind the symbol and what does it do when we use it and how can we use it uh, if you want to spiritually uh, use it has been revealed. Also, uh, the Pleiadians have revealed about the Ba channels and uh, what is their spiritual significance. And also, uh, the Pleiadians finally have revealed a method uh, of ascension into higher levels of consciousness and this is absolutely mind-blowing uh, it's amazing and revelations uh, were you know revealed in this session and before the session begins i want to say that tomorrow uh, the 30th of july uh, actually we have to do a meditation as per uh, recent channeling which i did around four sessions before uh, to stop the looking glass event so i will host a channeling on my patreon uh, and I would be grateful to all of you who can join me on my Patreon. The link will be on the description. Also in my Patreon, I share around uh, 500 plus channeling sessions. And also uh, we not only do meditations, but I also share uh, extra channeling sessions around three sessions per week. And some censored topics are also shared on that. And with that being said, I want to say also a big thank you to all of you who have liked this video because uh, your like is like a service to others. Uh, it will help this video to reach to other people at this time. With that being said, enjoy the session, my friends. We are the Pleiadians now in communication through these instruments in our vibration at this time. And we the Pleiadians are here to offer our thoughts and insights. And we must suggest that all entities who shall listen to our messages must only accept those thought forms which resonates deeply within the inner heart of the sense of self. Furthermore, firstly, with regards to the query about clarity on an event, which occurred and is known as the Pascagoula UFO incident of 1973. We as the Pleiadian shall assist in this query regarding the entities encountered by your peoples specifically named as Charles Hickson and Calvin Parker in what your peoples term as the Pascagoula incidents. The entities involved in the particular encounter were entities from what your peoples referred to as the nearby star system within your own galaxy in the 
aspects known as the Zeta Reticuli Star System. Furthermore, the entities were explorers and observers much like many other extraterrestrial entities that visit your planet. Their purpose was not to harm, but of examination and study. These entities are part of a collective consciousness that operates under the principles of what your peoples have referred as service to self, but not in a malevolent manner. Their interests lie in understanding and cataloging various biological and psychological aspects of different species including the human entities. They function within a framework of exploration and data gathering, driven by curiosity and the pursuit of knowledge. The physical descriptions provided by your peoples of grey wrinkled skin and claw-like hands are accurate representations of these entities. Their methods of examination and interaction are more technologically advanced and mentally focused than those of your current understanding. Their purpose for choosing these individual entities was based on a random selection process designed to provide a varied sample of human experiences and responses. The paralysis and levitation experienced were byproducts of their technology which allowed for the safe and controlled study of subjects without lasting harm. It is essential to understand that while these entities operate under different principles and methods, their encounters are a part of a broader cosmic interaction that includes various entities and consciousness appearing within your planetary sphere at this time space further we as the Pleiadians shall now answer the other query regarding who constructed the site of pyramid formation named as Gunung Padang by your peoples. We must state that the structure your kind refers to as Gunung Padang was fashioned by those of third density seeking to harmonize with the energies of the planetary sphere. This site was created through the focused intentions and efforts of multiple generations, each building upon the work of those who came before. The origins of this structure extend far beyond the time frame currently understood by your archaeologists and historians. Its foundations were laid in a period when the veil of forgetting was thinner, allowing for a greater connection to the cosmic energies and universal knowledge. Those who initiated its construction were guided by an innate understanding of the Earth's energy grid and celestial alignments. They sought to create a nexus point for spiritual and energetic communion, a bridge between the physical and the metaphysical realms. It is important to note that the concept of individual authorship or ownership as understood in your current societal framework does not accurately reflect the collective and spiritually driven nature of this undertaking. The creation of Gunung Padang was a shared endeavor harmonizing the efforts of many soul complexes across what your peoples perceive as time. We encourage those who seek understanding to approach this site with open hearts and minds, for its true significance lies not in its physical form alone, 
but in its role as a catalyst for spiritual growth and cosmic awareness. With regards to the other query about what is the truth behind the crux and santa or the ankh symbol and its spiritual significance and the correct proportion for drawing the ankh symbol we the pleiadians must state that the symbol which has been referred to as the ankh or crux and sata is a potent representation of cosmic principles bridging the realms of matter and spirit its true essence transcends the limited understanding often ascribed to your density the ankh embodies the concept of eternal life but not merely in the sense of endless physical existence Rather, it symbolizes the perpetual nature of consciousness, the infinite cycle of energy transformation, and the marriage of polarities necessary for creation and evolution. The loop at the top represents the feminine principles, the womb of potential, the unmanifest, the lower vertical bar signifies the masculine principles, the spark of creation, the manifest, the horizontal bar acts as a bridge between these forces, symbolizing the perfect balance and the union required for existence. In its deepest spiritual significance, the Ankh is a key, a tool for unlocking higher consciousness. It serves as a focal point for meditation, aligning the initiate with the rhythms of the cosmos and facilitating the flow of life force energy or what your peoples refer to as prana or chi regarding the proportions of drawing the ankh we must emphasize that the power of this symbol lies not in precise mathematical ratios but in the intent and understanding of the one who creates or uses it. However, for those seeking guidance, begin with a circle for the top loop. The vertical bar should extend approximately 2 to 2.5 times the diameter of the circle. The horizontal bar should intersect the vertical at a point just below the circle, its length roughly equal to the circle's diameters on each side. Remember that these are approximations. The true power of the Ankh comes from the resonance between the symbol and the consciousness of the entity using it. As an entity works with this symbol, allowing its intuition to guide it, will be beneficial the proportions that feel most harmonious to your beingness will be most effective for the personal spiritual work furthermore we shall now answer the other query about what are the ba channels we as the pleiadians must now answer the query regarding the ba channels which primarily is a framework of metaphysical communication and energy work. Ba channels as understood by your peoples and by our social memory complex refers to pathways of energy within the subtle bodily system. These channels are conduits for the flow of life force energy often associated with the Egyptian concept of your planet of Ba, a facet of the soul complex that represents personality, character and individual essence. In the understanding we share, Ba channels facilitate the movement and expression of this individualized energy throughout the mind-body-spirit complex. These channels interweave with other energetic systems, such as the chakras and meridians.
They serve as connectors between different levels of consciousness allowing for integration and harmonization of various aspects of the self. Furthermore, each entity may experience and interpret the Ba channels in a unique manner as they are intimately connected to the entity's individual essence and spiritual evolution. Furthermore, we the Pleiadians shall now answer the final query regarding a simple method to ascend into higher levels of consciousness. Firstly, we must state that the brain complex, as you understand it, is a complex instrument of your mind-body spiritual complex. It is not the souls of consciousness, but rather a tool through which consciousness interfaces with your current physical reality. What your people perceive as suffering psychologically often arises from the brain complexes. Activity in processing and interpreting sensory inputs, memories, and thought forms. The constant chatter of the mind's complex, fueled by the ego self, creates a separation from the true nature of unity with all things. When the brain activity lessens, as in states of deep meditation or during certain altered states of consciousness, the illusion of separation begins to dissolve. The chattering of the ego self subsides, allowing the entity to experience a closer connection to the infinite love and light of the One Creator. In states of complete cessation of brain activity, the illusion of separation falls away entirely. The entity then experiences the ultimate peace and joy of unity with all that is. This is not the absence of experience, but rather the fullness of experience unfiltered by the limitations of physical perception. Furthermore, we must state that the Aspects of cessation of all brain activity primarily can be practiced by taking away attention away from the brain activity and focusing on the sensory touches, feelings and other attributes more. This will lead towards a freeing of the activity of the brain complex, leading to more peace and serenity. Hence, we the Pleiadians now leave you all in the love lights of the One Creator. Bye. So my friends, uh, basically in the channeling session, uh, what I learned is that uh, regarding the Pascal Gula UFO incident, the Pleiadians have stated that, you know, uh, it actually uh, was the Zeta Reticulans. Uh, so their purpose, you know, was nothing, um, you know, nothing benevolent, but they just wanted to observe uh, and, uh, you know, see you know, how human bodies operated. So that was their purpose, which was revealed in this session. Also, uh, about the uh, Gunung Padang, uh, the pyramid formation, they stated that this was created by third density beings. So perhaps, you know, I think this was created by, uh, you know, some, um, you know, previous uh, ancestors of ours, you know, during that time. Um, and also, uh, this was created, I believe they said, to balance, uh, to harmonize with the energies of Earth, which I think is pretty important. And also regarding uh, the Ankh symbol, uh, from what I understood, you know, from the session, they said that the Ankh symbol can be used uh, for, you know, different purposes. It can be used for positive as well as negative, but it is based on the intention of the entity using it. So you can also use it for positive purposes, which was uh, highlighted in the session. And with regards to the Ba channels, you know, I think... Uh, they stated that Ba channels are like energy meridians uh, in our body and they are very important. They also uh, signify many balances or imbalances which are happening in our bodies. As well as uh, finally, uh, you know, the truth behind how our brain activity, uh, you know, causes psychological suffering. So, uh, so the Pleiadians, you know, as far as I understood said that, the more our brain is active, the more, you know, chances of psychological suffering, the less our brain activity is there. 
uh, there will be less psychological suffering and more peace in ourself. So uh, what they suggested was, you know, just to observe our brain activity and, you know, if it is too high, just relax a bit so that you can uh, feel peace and silence. And also, uh, with that being said, I want to say a big thank you to all of you who have sent me emails with regards to your soul's name, your soul identity and any other questions you may have. I will channel for you. The email will be on the screen as well as on the description. Also, big thank you to all of you for downloading the free channeling sessions PDF transcripts which you can read uh, if you want to. Also, thank you for visiting my website where I have searchable transcripts. The link is on the description. And until then, I'll see you in the next session. Enjoy this session over here. Thank you.